So anyone who's dabbled in self-improvement and self-help has probably heard of the secret and the law of attraction. I couldn't believe all the people who knew this. They were the greatest people in history. I'm guilty of it myself. I went through my own self-improvement phase and I remember when The Secret came out. I watched it and I even bought the book and I built my vision board. I bought into all of that nonsense. But the truth is, is that while I was trying to use the law of attraction to attract all this abundance and to try to get all this stuff that I didn't have, I didn't do anything. I didn't execute on anything. I sat around putting pictures of things I wanted on a cork board, but I didn't actually go out and try to work for any of the things I wanted. I kind of sat back and just waited for the world to give me the things that I was asking for. And if you haven't seen The Secret or you've been living under a rock and you don't know what the law of attraction is, it's basically where people just envision the things that they want and they keep thinking it and they keep believing it until it comes true. I'll tell you a quick story about my mom. She has always said that she's going to win the lottery one day. My mom does not play the lottery. She's probably played it a handful of times and my wife and I have probably purchased more lottery tickets for her than she's gone out and bought on her own because she's always talking about it and we think it's really funny that she doesn't actually play the lottery so when we get opportunities to pick up some lottery tickets for her we do it but she is convinced that she's gonna win the lottery. I bring up the lottery thing because there's actually people out there who claim that they visualize themselves winning the lottery or they use the law of attraction to win the lottery and it's just so painful to watch these people talk about it because they're so deep into this that they don't even realize how ridiculous they sound. I visualize all the time that I was gonna be holding a check for $112 million written across it. I even visualize myself wearing my little favorite green top, which I don't know where in the heck it is now. It's just so cringe when you hear that out loud, but it's funny how easy it is for people to like fall for it and believe these people. Like, dude, you got lucky winning the lottery. And there's so much of this now on YouTube. It's not just this one lady. There's so many people who are claiming that they use the law of attraction to win the lottery, which is just stupid and it's terrible advice to tell people to go and gamble away their hard earned money because if they visualize winning the lottery, they can. Do you know how many people play the lottery and think that they're gonna win? Every single person that plays the lottery. Like, the first thing you do when you put in a lottery ticket, you start thinking about all the nice things that you're gonna buy. I remember, uh, I think it was Bad Santa where Billy Bob Thornton says, Well, wish in one hand, shit in the other one, see which one fills up first. Okay. It's just ridiculous and it's predatory that there's people out there claiming this and when I see YouTubers who are making videos on this stuff, it's just so cringe because the sad thing is that people believe it and they're just profiting off of gullible people and I guess, you know, there's a sucker born every minute and if you're gullible enough to fall for that stuff, then shame on you but really it should be shame on them because it's not right that they prey on weak people who just want to better their lives and have nicer things. But it seems to be the norm nowadays with YouTube and social media influencers in general. So I guess it's fair game, right? Whatever makes you a buck. If you can sleep at night knowing that you're so full of shit and you're profiting off of it, then I, I guess, you know, there's a special place in hell for you, but I guess that only applies if you believe in hell, so. I don't really believe in hell, but I still don't want to take advantage of people. Guess, uh, guess I'm not as terrible as I thought I was. And it's so cringe that people are still talking about the law of attraction. In a recent video that I made, I talked about that lady that made her kid cry on camera to take a thumbnail. Well, that video, I only showed the part where she's having her kid cry on camera for the thumbnail. But just before that, that super cringe vlogger that made her kid cry on camera for clicks was actually talking about the law of attraction. It's crazy, no, no matter how much you know about positive mindset, law of attraction, it doesn't matter how much you're educated on that, when you're in the moment, it's still so hard to not feel sad. And I'm just like, geez, these are the type of people that still believe in this, but it's not just those people. There are people who genuinely want better things and want to have better lives, and they really believe if they send out positive signals to the universe that the universe will answer and give them the things that they want. Well, I'll tell you this. The universe is not going to give you a goddamn thing unless you go out and you work for it. And work for it really, 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 really hard. Unless you are very privileged and you have wealthy parents who can really give you a head start in life and you know send you off in the right direction to accomplish all your dreams and desires you're probably 
not gonna get shit just sitting around on your couch watching a movie or reading books on self-help. I've read a lot of books on self-help. I firsthand know that you can sit around and you can procrastinate on doing all these things. You can read books on it, you can watch videos on it, but if you don't actually go out and try to do anything to make those improvements, if you don't start working out, if you don't start eating well, if you don't go out and try to look for a better job, if you don't learn how to invest your money and fix your credit, none of those things are gonna come true for you. You're pretty much just gonna sit around waiting for the universe to give you all the things that you want, and that just doesn't happen. I don't care how many pictures of cars and houses you put on your vision board, that shit just doesn't happen. I grew up poor and I worked my ass off my whole life. I've worked 16 hour days at jobs that didn't pay much. I've worked retail. I've worked customer service. I've worked at hotels handling luggage for rich people and parking their cars. I've worked at restaurants where I had to serve snobby ass people expensive steak dinners and do it with a smile because I was going to make some good tip money off of it. And I've saved money and I fixed my credit and I bought a house and I did all those things. And you know when I started doing those things? When I stopped reading the self-help books, when I stopped believing in the law of attraction, when I stopped thinking that everything was just gonna happen for me, I went out and I started busting my ass and doing it. I have a semi-successful YouTube channel. You know, it's 25,000 subscribers. I'm getting about 100,000 views a month. It's doing okay. I have put out almost 200 videos. I have sacrificed so much of my free time, so much of my mental health, and some of my relationships with friends and my family just to try to kick off a YouTube channel and pursue the dream of becoming a YouTuber. And now after all of that, I'm finally seeing a little bit of success. But there's so many people out there that talk about starting a YouTube channel and say it's their dream to become a YouTuber. And they don't even upload a single video. There's a lot of people out there who want to learn how to code and they sit around watching learn to code videos all day long and they never write a single line of code or try to complete one course or build a project or do any of that stuff. They just sit around and wait and hope that something is just gonna fall from the sky and they're gonna get a programming job or they're gonna get the car that they want or they're gonna get the house that they want or they're gonna fix their credit by simply doing nothing because they have a positive outlook on life. And I'm not a negative person. I do believe that if you keep a positive attitude, better things will come to you because most people like people with a positive attitude. Most people don't wanna deal with somebody who's just a bitter bag of shit that sits around complaining all the time. And maybe that's part of the reason why keeping a positive attitude might help you get further in life. But the truth is that it doesn't matter. I know people who are bitter as fuck and work their asses off and are super wealthy. And I also know people who are super positive and, you know, don't do anything and don't have anything and they're doing just fine. I don't know which one's better. I don't want to be rich and bitter, but I also don't want to be super positive and broke. But when people get caught up in all this self-help nonsense and, and the law of attraction and all this bullshit that people are basically just trying to sell you something, right? The secret was a book. And the people that were involved in the movie are, were a bunch of self-help gurus who were all trying to just sell you something. They were trying to sell their books. They were trying to sell their courses. Shit, James Arthur Ray, quote unquote philosopher, who was one of the main people in the secret movie, killed three people in a sweat lodge. And maybe you've created things to this point that are wonderful and worthy of you, and maybe you have haven't, the question I'd ask you to consider is, do the results you have in your life, are they what you really want, and are they worthy of you? If you have a halfway decent personality and you're charismatic and you can convince people to follow you, many of them will, and a lot of the times if you have bad intentions or if your purpose of doing that is to get rich or to make money and profit off of those people, one, you're a sleazeball. But Two, you could do it and you can get rich and you can make money doing it. And you see it happen so often. And I'm seeing it more and more with YouTubers. I'm seeing it more and more with social media influencers. You see that there's just so many swindlers and so many snake oil salesmen and so many people that are just trying to make a buck. And I want to use this platform to talk about whatever I want. And today in particular, I'm feeling a little salty about the whole law of attraction and the secret and all that nonsense. And that's really why I decided to make this video today because I've been thinking of it more and more lately and I saw the secret pop up on Netflix the other day and I was like, shit, people are still watching this. And then I started doing a little searching on YouTube and I see that there's still a bunch of people that are writing that niche and still a bunch of people that are trying to like sell you that bullshit. As someone who has gone through all forms of self-help and self-improvement 
and has you know gotten out of poverty i fixed my credit my credit score is like an 820 which is just insane to me that's my legit credit score i never in a million years thought i would have a credit score over 800. Back when I had like a 400 credit score when I was in my early 20s, I've been on both ends of the spectrum and I've bettered my life. And none of it came easy. None of it was just me sitting around with a positive attitude. And it was just a lot of work. And if anyone is trying to tell you any different, if anyone is trying to sell you their book or their course or whatever bullshit that you think you can buy and improve your life, you don't need it. Most of this information is out there for free and really all it takes is just picking yourself up and getting to work every day on whatever it is. Your health, your mental health, your finances, whatever it is that you want to improve, start googling how to do it. It's just like learning the code. I basically am a Google expert now and all I do is Google the problems that I'm having in order to find the solutions and you can do that same thing with anything in your life that you're trying to improve. Don't believe all this nonsense of the law of attraction and, and things will just come to you because they won't. With that said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and thanks for watching. Namaste.